Isaiah, welcome officially to BYU Football Photo Day. Yes, sir. Now more than a week into camp, how would you assess the overall feeling and vibe of camp and the team at this point? Man, it's been good so far. You know, I feel like at the start of camp, the whole defense, we all met and everything like that. And, you know, we want to come in with a purpose this offseason, you know, this to prepare us for this Big 12 season. You know, we, we're making history this year. You know, so with that being said, we're excited, man. Everybody's been working hard, and it's a good vibe out there. So along with BYU making history, joining the Big 12, this is year one as a Power 5 team. What types of things are you trying to accomplish on the field to add to the own uh, or the, the history statement that you just made? 100%. Man, I'm trying to do the best I can. That's all anybody can ever ask for, right? I mean, we've been, like I said, we've been preparing really hard. And so I expect big things not only for myself, but for the whole team as a whole. So with that being said, I'm looking forward to it. We got something in store for y'all. Well, last time I talked to you, you were still very relatively new to BYU football. And you're still new, but you've been around the program a little bit longer. You've had a chance to work with your teammates and on the defensive line specifically. How is your role going to evolve as you work in this specific BYU defense? 100%. Well, you know, when we talk about football-wise, I feel like we play a big role in, in the defense, just, you know, me on the edge. And we even talk about with Tyler Batty, you know, we'll have a good impact, I feel, especially getting after the pass to this year and really just making a statement in general. So with that being said, that's what I'm kind of looking forward to, really, making the statement and making my place on the defense with the rest of the guys. What's your relationship like with Kelly Papinga having that established at Boise State? And now at BYU, he's coaching you again on the edge. Yeah, dude, he's awesome, man. I, uh, he's, been, he's been one of the best coaches I've ever had. You know, he really cares about his guys, and he really cares about me, too. And he knows his stuff. You know, even if you look at his history, you can see the kind of guys he's been able to, you know, help be successful in their careers. So with that being said, man, I'm just appreciative of him, and, you know, I look forward to, you know, believing in him for the rest of the season. How is he and defensive coordinator Jay Hill getting you ready for primarily power five offenses that you are going to go up against beginning with Arkansas and then a run of nine games through the Big 12? Right. Well, they've been pushing me really hard, especially not just talking about back in winter and spring camp, but especially right now, they, they really have a high standard for me and, like I said, the rest of the defense. So with that being said, you know, they've been trying to uphold that and they've done a really good job of being consistent with that and bringing it to a, a level of importance for us all. How often have you been reminded that last season BYU was one of the worst teams in the country in quarterback sacks? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, quite often when I'm talking to people, people bring it up. People definitely bring it up. So that's something that, you know, hopefully we can come in and change around and help out for the, you know, BYU Nation. I know it's not just quarterback sacks, but the defense overall is trying to be more disruptive. So with what you can tell us without giving too much away, how is BYU's defense set up to be more disruptive and create more turnovers and quarterback sacks and just more chaos for opposing offenses? Right. So it's funny that you said because our play calls this, this offseason, this fall camp that we've been learning and installing has been super exotic and diverse. So you'll see a bunch of different blitzes. You'll see different coverages. And, you know, Coach Hill got a good plan for us. And so it's, it's going to be exciting to see, man. It's, it's a lot different than what we've been seeing before in the past. Now that's interesting because we hear so often that offense is throwing a lot of disguised looks. You use the word exotic to explain the defense, which I don't hear very often. So yes, how much more can you tell us about that, like the, the exotic play calling that will be involved on the defensive side? Well, as far as I can say, just know that every single position will have a specific role in like a blitz yeah. or a certain coverage. Who knows, maybe even the D alignment will be dropping in coverage at some point. Who knows, maybe safety will be coming out to quarterback. So we'll see a whole bunch of different stuff, man. It'll be cool. It'll be cool, I promise. Do you anticipate being primarily in a three-point stance? Uh, are you going to be up on, you know, just just two feet all in a, in a full-on stand position? What do, you, what do you anticipate you're going to do primarily? Well, originally, I'm, I've always been in a two-point stance. Okay. So they're letting me continue being in a two-point stance. You know, obviously with different techniques and fundamentals, you know, it'll change up here and there and things for different scenarios. But okay. I will mostly be in a two-point stance. How do you feel like you have gotten better as an individual football player since moving down from Boise State to BYU? Oh, a lot better. I feel like coming here, it like raised the bar for me, you know, and especially coming in with a different purpose, a different mindset, and especially this is my fifth year, you know, so with that being said, it's, it's, uh, it's time to take things real serious and take it to the next level, and that's exactly what I tried to do. All right, we'll finish with this. The running backs room has a nickname for themselves. They're called the Step Show, mm -hmm. okay? Can we work on a nickname for the defensive line group? Maybe even the edge rushers? Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> you know, we, uh, 
<laughs> it's funny you said because our D, our defensive end room, we break down on this little this little saying we got. It's BDE. I don't want to go into it because it'll be surprised. Y'all gonna find out eventually. But hey, it's that's what that's what we're gonna go by right now. So <laughs> we'll st we'll just stick with the acronym, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Isaiah, it's great to talk with you. Uh, we appreciate the time and insight, and enjoy the rest of Photo Day. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.